Tonight we're hearing from Milford police about their investigation into this that huge fight over at Walnut Beach. They now say that eight people have been arrested so far with four more arrests coming. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter reports on what was behind the brawl and if new safety measures are helping control the crowds. Yeah! A vocal volleyball game produced the only yells at Walnut Beach this afternoon. A stark contrast to the melee that marred Memorial Day here. It was disgusting. It was a lot of people from other towns. Out of control crowds. Three adults and five minors have been arrested for the brawl where responding officers were knocked to the ground and two had their body cameras stolen. 18-year-old Jacob Calderon Perez of Trumbull is charged with larceny. 18-year-old Jasmine Bello of Stratford is charged with breach of peace and assault. And 20-year-old Alexander Mitchell of Bethany is also charged with breach of peace. And the juveniles are also not from Milford. I can't give info out about the juveniles, but they're not from Milford. Patrolman First Class Mary Lisa Anania tells us four pending arrests, which include two minors, also aren't from the city. Anania says the investigation found this all began because of an argument on the pier over a Bluetooth speaker. There was a, a male and his girlfriend trying to connect to a Bluetooth speaker that they believed was theirs because it looked just like theirs. Um, and it turns out it belonged to someone else. Um, words were exchanged and then a fight broke out between them and then it kind of just spread throughout the pier. Since that day, the city has put up a fence around the parking lot to ensure only one way in and out of the beach. Police say that's helped them monitor the crowd size and kept things calmer. Officers have also stepped up their presence at the beach, including with ATVs. On the weekends, there's police trucks and there's, they're going up and down the sand and everything, so they're doing, they're, they're doing a good job. There's a lot less people now after all the restrictions and everything. The beach has been under control definitely last weekend I was here and super nice like people enjoying the beach but it's how it should be. In Milford, Marissa Alter, News 12 Connecticut. Milford police say that they also want to thank the public for their help in the investigation. They're still looking to recover one of the body cameras that was stolen.